Nobody right. was a street yeah. nigga that's coming in here like this is our chance, nigga. I'm rapping my ass off. I'm getting out the hood. Like let's, we, we doing this shit. It was mad right. niggas that felt that way, and no one had really shown niggas the way yet. So niggas mm. was out there like the Wild Wild West, guns blazing. Niggas got their clips ready. Like yo, who, what, whatever. You don't need as good as what you're competing against, man. If you watch a Rocky movie, that nigga don't be in the gym running. He be out amongst the people running. So it's like, I I never wanted to uh, uh, kick ass on a treadmill. Like, you just running in place. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. if you ain't inspired by nobody else, fuck what everybody else talking about. You should be you should be inspired by your peer. So, you know, if it is 30 battle rappers, I don't give a fuck if it's 10 of them and, and they saw the shop. You got to... You got to use them for the fuel. Y'all niggas inspire me. I'm going to tell y'all right now. Y'all young niggas think I'm not watching y'all niggas? They don't, inspire, they don't inspire me. Hey, 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 Banks, let me ask you a question. Who who do you think... Any of them see inspire me. Think nice. I, I, I can't look down like that, man. Them niggas are talking about Dragon Ball. That shit on, that ain't real in my life. I'll talk about that. Hey, 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 but Verb, but in, 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 in a sense, though, you say it. When you hear about a nigga enough... Eventually, you gotta start watching. I mean, hey, hey, Banks. Let me let me ask you this. Not to even hold you to it. I don't, I don't want you to be doing that. No, Who is a? What's the feature you did? And you before you did it with the nigga, like you knew he was like that. Where you was like, okay, I ain't gonna be playing. Who was the nigga that you was gonna do a record with? And you like, hey, dude, like me. Yeah. I mean, I, I've done a a lot of yeah, my first of features were like. You know, with some some dangerous motherfuckers, but shit. My first feature I ever like when I first got into the game, the first person I got a feature from was Prodigy. Rest in peace. Rest mm -hmm. in peace to P. Bandana P. You started off at the top here in hard. And you and you know what's crazy? The, it was over a beat. It was over the record to get dealt with. You know what I'm saying? And it, and it was so crazy because, like, I had him rap over a beat that he already did a song over. Mm. You know what I mean? So the respect mm -hmm. was definitely there, but you know, uh, like an M. I was about to say, didn't you do an M? I'm thinking yeah. of an M record. Patiently yeah. waiting to make it through all, the, all that. Yeah. Yeah. No, like Emma, Emma call, Emma rap his verse over the phone one time. And then it's just like, you got to kind of like, you know, so you see where he at with it. Yeah. You yeah. See where like like kind of break yeah. that down and be like, shit, what the fuck was that? And then you go, you know, and do your shit. But like I right. said, like I said, whenever you know, I'm self motivated to be honest, because this this legacy shit, this shit stops when you want it to stop. At mm -hmm. the end of the day, so it ain't no fucking excuse. I don't give a fuck what's going on in the world. You gotta go back to that room, wherever that first room was when you picked up that pen. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. gotta that go. Energy. That's why I go. The further I go away from home, the closer I get to that room. If I go mm. to motherfucking overseas or some shit like that, and I'm locked in the confines of that area, I automatically lock into the reason I made it there to that room. Mm -hmm. I go back there, I write most of the music like that. I don't play with it. Even when I recorded music, I, I would do six, seven songs a session. I wouldn't call niggas to listen to that shit until I was one song left. So I already had six done. I ain't got time to play. I don't need to be distracted. I don't need a nigga passing me the blunt, telling me what happened in the neighborhood. None of that shit. You mm. you gotta take it that serious, and it's gonna show. It's gonna show with your pen. Nah, that's fire, and that shows niggas be on the right track and not even knowing it, cause that's that's the same thing I used to do, Banks. I started writing on a roof on First Street. It's a roof you can see right. the city on. I go back. I would go back to that roof. Every time I'll have a battle or every time I'll be writing or something, I go on that roof, smoke a blunt. And, but you know what? Sometimes, too, I like to change location, too, because it's like if you pour a different result, I might want to go darker. I might need to be in a worse situation. I might yeah. need to be. I'm yeah, saying just, mentally. Oh, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah just I'm go saying, back. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. don't matter where I'm at. The further I get away from it, it just reminds me. You know, you think about home yeah. more when you get away from it. You, If you're amongst the shit, you don't think about. That's like when niggas be like, yo, it's, it's crazy in a specific neighborhood. You don't feel that way when you there. Mm -hmm. You you wake up to that shit every day. That's that's normal. Mm -hmm. I actually but feel the, safer because you don't know these niggas. You like see that. what I'm saying? But yeah, to get sure. back into that zone, I don't, I don't know what it's going to take. 
I, I don't, you know, I know a lot of the and verb. I heard you say this a lot. A lot of it is predicated off of competition and being competitive, you know, so business ventures, people doing a lot of different shit and just don't, it's just missing the, 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 the competitiveness and just talking shit and, and create this shit is like boxing. Like a lot mm -hmm. of these fights have to be created. Mm -hmm. They well, you got well, 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 and this is what I think. With the, I think sometimes the stories just go in line for us to do it anyway. You know what I'm saying? But I, we do got to sell the fight beforehand because when, when we talking shit, that's when the competitive gene come on. Because it's like, hey, you telling me I ain't what? Okay, watch this. Without that, it's like that's why y'all don't be shit because y'all y'all too friendly. You know what I'm saying? That's why I talk shit to all y'all because it's like I have yeah, to turn that up, shit bro. on. Okay, <laughs> No. I'm gonna fuck you over. No. That was that no. was a hell of a time, man. Especially. It was a hell no. of a time, man. Motherfuckers I, don't know what they up against. It's the same thing with with the mainstream shit. You know what I mean? When we came in, it was gladiator school. It was a hell of a time. But uh, you gotta find, you know, whether it's going back. I still watch certain battles every year. You know what I'm saying? Give, like, give me give me five of the ones that you like. Well, well, just five battles that you enjoy, or or or. What MCs do you see have that competitive in them that you see? Like, whether they good or not, they just got to be, like, you know, competitive. Who do you see it on? Like, this I watch, I watch. It's, it's way more than five. But just, like, to name a few. Well, most recently, like I said, I, I like the performance your last one against. Uh, uh, me, and Il, me and Ill Will came out yesterday. I didn't catch that yet. I, I you got might, you might want to go check that out. I'm going to check that link. Um, But, yeah, you and uh, what's – uh. The one I just said. Hey, War, pizza. <clears throat> right. That was crazy. Uh, definitely uh, Surf and Big T. Yeah, that's one of them ones, too. See, I like, go we going to... rappers, man. Come on. Yeah, keep nah, going. Nah, I mean, man. it is what I'm just giving. Yeah, I'm come it, on. It's, Talk it's, to these niggas. Right away. Uh, shit. Surf, surf and Hitman. Now, come on, man. Let's. Uh, uh, we, we, we talking it, rappers. Uh, Original. Uh, who we got? Uh, T Rex. Uh, T-Rex and Ice Pack. Hey, look, look, originals. No new niggas yet, man. Ain't no, look, ain't no room for y'all, man. This stupid that, that shit. Ain't, that not, I'm not, <laughs> I heard not, a lot of St. Louis and a lot of gun hey, titles. Hey, I like hey, it. But verb, verb. That might just be in no disrespect to Banks. That He just might not be hip yet. To so what? No. It don't mean hey, no, no. it ain't no good. Shoot. 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 Shoot an eight. Let's but, see but, I, I, I tell you, you, you seen Eunice? Oh no, nah, I haven't. Man, what the fuck is you talking about? Don't make him innocent. Talking about it, man. You said don't make him innocent. 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 You said of course. You got a nigga like Jones who vouched for this nigga, and he's a new nigga. But we asked him the question. He said, no, no, that's no, it, I'm, not, man. I'm not saying nothing wrong with it. I'm just saying he has his he don't know. Yeah. No, no, no. He, he, and, and that's fine. What I'm saying way is up, it just might not be somebody he's seen yet. That's I'm just talking to Verb because Verb be, be trying to shit on my nigga. Uh, no, I didn't. All I said, you said, do you know him? No, we don't know him. I'm telling you the real world. Yeah. Don't you, know I'm you saying the question. Him. He don't, though. Not yet. No, I, I, listen to what I'm saying. I'm saying the regular world is not going to, they don't give a fuck, man. But they will. You just got here. You got to give a chance, bro. All right, okay. All right, all right, okay, all right. So look, so look, okay. Look, well, just don't say that because we got to get into people that he know. You see the no, people he see, picked. No, I can see if he was. I can see if he was what we was talking about before. I can see if he was fucking up. You know what I'm saying? He he's swamping out, not you know Damn. showing up at the right times. You know what I'm saying? That's different. He's been showing up. It's that just, boy he gotta show up. His, he got to get his plates up. That's all. Okay, he but, but he gonna he be saying no though. He said no. Look, though. look, hey, hey, look, man. Let's no more talk about that. Let that man keep talking about who else he like. We ain't wasting our time on that shit. It's a no. Nah, you just said right, come he on, don't man. give a fuck about the new niggas when he just don't know some yet. Nah, just, okay, so just, okay, I look. Don't have, he just didn't reach the surface for me. Yet. That's it. He, you I, look, look, look. You got to Look, I ain't never walked up on banks and said, "Here's my CD. My name is A Verb, nigga." The but fuck, you got to reach the surface. Hey, hey, but niggas used to do that. Yeah, but I'm saying I didn't. It reached the surface, nigga. <laughs> nigga, you can do that. God damn. You, it, it's a hundred ways to skin a cat, ain't it? If, if you Ver like that, we're going to get it. Verb is saying what he's been saying, which is that it's a class that's above 
you know what I mean? Uh, niggas that deserve to be looked at in the light on a different light. You know what I'm saying? 100%. And I, I agree with that. But that don't mean that, you know what I'm saying? It's fire niggas that haven't yet ascended still. You know what I'm saying? That that got the potential to. They just got to put the time and the work in. That's and all. that's all I'm saying the verb. That's them all niggas ain't, Them niggas ain't going nowhere unless I say so. Yeah, yeah. Right, <laughs> it's, it's a sad reality of it, man. It's like I ain't going front. I, I I think it's it's a lot of like little nuances and shit that was there before that played a part. Like if you look at the St. Louis crew, like you know, even to this day, like you know, they're a travel team. You know what Word. I'm saying? Like uh, Doc Mall <laughs> travel team. Like you said, travel team. That's what motherfuckers be showing up. Is. Motherfuckers show up, it'll just, just be you. You know what I mean? Like, that's, you know, that's not how I came in the game. Like, not saying it can't be done, but you got to have the support. You got to have your home with you. You got to have all of that shit matters, man. Yeah, nah, just y'all niggas had that city behind artist that, for real. Coming up on whatever card and just trying to convince niggas you the shit. But all of those things, you know. They go into play. Yeah, yeah, they do. Whether it be a hype man, if it's, if it's. Ten motherfuckers wearing the same jacket, the same hat. Yeah. You know what's crazy? Be gone. Man, so I don't never have man. that shit, right? I don't never be having that. And like that's a prime example of why the shit, especially recently, it'd it be like you gotta damn near fight for the position you already earned again. You know what I'm saying? Like and that's but people the used the to see you like that, Jones. So it, it don't really apply to you. Like you came in the game that way. Yeah. You was yeah, the lone wolf, you know what I'm saying? So it's like nobody expects that. I'm saying like, you know, certain uh, certain people, even if it's just one person in the background, like motherfuckers don't even be having that. It's strength in numbers no matter what. It's always strength in numbers. Like if a yeah. motherfucker see like how Capo do, niggas show up in 30 bash money hoodies, like you go and notice the nigga. Like, like that's just how it works. But it still got to be good too, though. I guess people, you can't people just buying be looking. the movements. People buying the movements. That's a fact. And that's yeah, why, like, St. Louis be was both. a movement. Jersey yeah. was a movement. Like, it was it's movements in a culture that's like, yeah, now we want to see who's next out of there. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? That's a yeah, and, and then if people don't come from 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 Carolina to come see you, Swamp, why the fuck would you ever be like me? Oh, Sorry. What did you come from? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I ain't going to front magic. Magic got like he got about three battles I go to. Man, you got to. Yeah, punch it like that. Um, Show a ride. Man. It's CD, right? Thanks. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. hey, that's a lot of St. Louis. Charlie. That's a lot of St. Louis in your place. Tay-Rock battle. Tay-Rock and Magic. You're, you got to check yeah. this new me and Tay-Rock, Banks. Hold up. Did I see that? Yeah, yeah I got to check it. Yeah, 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 I it see just it. happened. Shook too, yeah. man. Shook my nigga, man. I got, I, I got, I got to give it up to the people who just consistently made those moments, man. I don't, hey, I get it. Times are different now, but motherfuckers made moments, man. That's what yeah, I it's, that's it's what like, it's like we man. Moments. Big T made moments, man. Yeah, and th that's what this shit is about. It's about making your moments or making your. That's why you got to be rare when you get the lights on you. Not be like what he was. That's. That's all some classic is for real. It was a moment in time. Mm -hmm. And you'd be like, yo, you remember exactly where you was at the first time you seen yeah, that mu shit. Music marks time. I learned that early. You know what I mean? Mm. Word. This this June makes 20 years of my anniversary for my first album. Mm. Man, salute, hunger, for more, hunger for more classic. Facts. Salute, you know what I mean? Hey, hey, Banks, while you right here, let's ask you this question. When you when you first got your album done, how did it make you feel when you got Hunger for More done, when you had to turn it in? Was you like jittery? Like, was it like what? Like when you knew it was really on? Nah, yo, to, to be honest, the, the mixtape, the, the mixtape movement, I got so comfortable with that. Like I was, I was in red form, man. Like I was, man. And then I was around, I had the formula. The blueprint was already laid as far as like, you know, track listing and kind of mm -hmm. like how to balance out, you know, a classic album. Girl record and shit. Yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. if, if you think about it, like, it was all there for me already. I recorded I recorded about 30% of that album out the country and about 
Yeah, I would say the other 70, like, on the tour bus. <clears throat> so it was constant. It was constant movement, constant movement, but it didn't matter who I was at. My mind was on my – it was just back in my neighborhood. Like, that's mm-hmm. where I was at, whether I was on a bunk writing, wherever, because in my mind – it was like you trying to like pack your whole life into sixty minutes. You know what I'm saying? Mm, mm. But once that once that album came out and it was received the way it was, it was one thing, right? Because you know, at, when you, when you smoking, you can sell shit on a stick. You know what I mean? Mm, mm-hmm. But ten years yeah, down the line, when you could perform them records. Fifteen years down the line, twenty years down the line. Then you start understanding, you know, because everything was moving so fast. And I say that like with a lot of the young artists, like they don't even live long enough to be to 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 feel the love. Right. So mm-hmm. your first your first 20 concerts, it might be about seven or eight of them shits might end early because based off your demographic, you know, I'm, I'm 20 years old. So my my demographic is from fucking. 12, 13 to like yeah. 23, 24 at that time. So if you're doing like shows, predominantly it's going to be, you know, it's adolescents, young motherfuckers in there. People want to throw some shit. You know, they want to go home and be like, yeah, we the ones that stopped that concert. Or, you know, so it was just about You the feel energy. like they more, it's the energy in the room, man. it? Yeah, it was just like, we here. Even if, you know, this shit is buzzing right now. This is where all the girls going to be at. We here tonight. But what happens is, 10 years later, right? 10 years uh-huh. later, when them niggas is 30 now, they got kids now and shit, you start seeing the daps turn to hugs and shit. Like, niggas don't yeah. even want to dap no more right. because, like, case in point, like, recently, um, I had a show in Jersey, and um, it was this kid, man, and he was, uh, like, circling around the venue and shit, man. I, could just, I saw, like, he was just anxious. And he was just telling me, like, you know, what I meant to him and shit, you know, in his upbringing. And, um, you know, I took a picture with him, a couple videos and shit. And then maybe, like, i say about two weeks ago, he got killed. You know what I'm saying? Damn. So, in peace so, him, so he, ain't, oh, he ain't telling me that. He ain't telling me what a song or how a song impacted him. He's telling me how my dream, you know what I mean, impacted mm. him. And then to, that's why a lot of people be like, yo, stick to this or stick to a punchline, shit like that. As you get older, you, you got to kind of like add more into your legacy as far as leaving a message. You know what I'm saying? As far as, uh, okay, you know, I, I, you, you, hey, let me ask you this, Banks. Which one get the loudest reaction? Beamer Benz or Start It Up? Start It Up. Start it up, do it. it. What you think? So, so I'm I talking about. It, started in the, up beat. Hey, hold on, hold shit. on. So, start it up. It is it, it's, it's is the biggest, way bigger than Beamer Benz or what? No, no, what no, 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 no. I, well, you know, a lot of that plays into how I respond to the record. Right, right, right. right. Fire. Yeah, well, that, that oh, does. What, one, that does what it does. It always does. I got fire with all them shits, my nigga. I ain't going to start it up. Fire. Fire. I got fire, my nigga. But this, this is the thing. This is the thing, right, bro? Like. That's uh-huh. a good that's a good fucking question, right? Because I'm slick with this, John. I'm slick with this, man. It's two it's two completely different things. You gotta understand, like that's what I adjusted to to be able to reach the masses. But at heart, the records that influenced me, they they were I don't want to say more organic, but radio was more receptive to I got five on it, mm. to to shook ones. You mm. know what I mean? Like it, it was no set formula of what was a hit record. Mm. Right. Right. So when I look back at certain records for me, myself, they mean more to me than others because if I, I feel like I came in the right era, but at the same time, I feel like I could have been in the early nineties as well. Mm. Right. Sure. So like, Shook Ones is like, to me, like the ultimate. That might be, well, for me it is. It's my number one rap record. That might be one of the hardest singles ever. That's like- That's what I'm saying. Like, that would never be a single today. Word. No, not today, no. 
official Queens bitch murderers. Niggas talking about murdering niggas in the first four parts. <laughs> <laughs> Grab me by your brain, stab your brain with your yeah. nose bone. You can't say no shit like that. Yeah, yeah. 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 You can't yeah. say no shit. That was biased. That was biased. So wait a minute, is the drill era and that era the same? It's just two different types. Nah, it's the nigga, same. Nah. No, 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 no. no we're not doing that, bro. We're not doing that. Nah, it's the same violence. It it's the same violence, bro. 90s, nigga. It's the same violence. Off the jump, let's murder something. It's the they same just scared to fight now. It's different. Right. Like, they were going to fight and shoot back then. Now Man, just, sure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they definitely ain't throwing nobody's hands. And, and the and the real gangster, correct me if I'm wrong, Banks. The real gangsters in the '90s really wasn't rappers. Like it was really niggas that was like, he, "This is the rapper. These is the homies." Like it was clear cut roles. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, the niggas, the gangster, the the rapper, the shooter, the the a scammer. He all five in one. You know what I'm saying? Where back look, then look. it was known. You, you come to a non show or something. You already knew that all these Queensbridge niggas is crazy. Like, Qualifications change. That's just a part of the whole thing. Like your entourage meant something because they knew them niggas ain't rappers. Yeah. Mm. Yo, Banks, how did it feel to get um I think twice you were the mixtape champion, right? Mm-hmm. R.I.P. Justo and all that. How did it feel to get that twice though? <laughs> Shit was crazy, man. I, you know, it's crazy you say that because I'm I'm looking at that plaque right now. Mm. Good job. Like that, that shit. Oh, I'll be just on my nigga for real. That's though, a fact. Two, that's two a in fact. a row, nigga. Two in a row, nigga. That's a salute, nigga. You know what? The, back then, mixtapes was so hard to be the man of. What? Everybody, everybody was out there tripping, man. Yeah, I ain't, <laughs> yo, listen, man. I was, I was in psycho mode at that time, man. Niggas could say whatever they want. I was the most feared at that time. Ooh, okay, here we go. Here we go. That's a fact, though. Oh, four? Okay. Oh, four? Come on, my nigga. So, so could none of them niggas fuck with you and your no, head? No, no, nah, no. Absolutely not. And the reason I say that Let's is because I, I, I didn't know what I was capable of yet. Mm. You got to mm -hmm. understand, like, I was so, I was so rugged, like, victory and shit like that happened just by accident. You know what I mean? Like, that's just me going, going, going. But in hindsight, I I knew how to make 50 bars feel like 32. Mm. And you it was... Be, it right? So, and that's, you, you and that's necessary. G, 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 right? It's necessary that's even with, like, with battle rap, right? Because, you mm. know, to me, I feel like cadence is the most important thing in battle rap, right? Because mm. nobody wants to be predictable and nobody wants to be duplicated. So I try to find a way to kind of like okay instead of doing a you know one two three four set up punch one two three four set up punch i would do that but then i would i would take about six to eight bars while i would switch the flow up or you know do a breakdown and some shit like that and then come back to it and you know to figure out a way to, to make a, a to a stand out with it. right don't just feel like i'm just rapping a continuous sentence you know what i'm saying mm-hmm mm -hmm. Hey, hey, uh, Banks, man. And three, you, I hear you. I hear. I be. I watch three. So I be hearing you. Oh, why this and why that? And motherfuckers <laughs> didn't want that shit with me at that time, man. Feel free to come on my show, Banks. I mean, I've only asked for two years. <laughs> 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 I've only asked for two years, Banks. Damn, three. Damn, three. I love it, man. That's my nigga. Three. Banks, my nigga. Don't get a fuck. That's my nigga. Hey, 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 Banks, watch that nigga, man. Watch that nigga, man. Officer three. Officer three. Yeah, watch that nigga. Yeah, but that, that mixtape era was the most dangerous time because you had to be skilled. It wasn't no plan. Like when put right. niggas put you in, we wanted to hear what you had to say over these beats. Oh. Like, man, like, I'm saying, what, that's wild. But when, when niggas played your, when niggas, when niggas played your diss, they wanted to hear how skilled did he get over this tweet beat, or how did he get over this this rough rider anthem? How did we we want to hear him get on it? Mm. You know what I'm saying? And you and you didn't have long. You had a couple seconds to draw us in, and we was gone because it was mm -hmm. too much material out there. You can go mm -hmm. anywhere and get the shit. Like let me hear a dude it on. So it's hard to dominate that time though. Who you, you think right. was the Who you think that was the next closest to you? I I don't even think it's a fair question because I was outside of my I wasn't. I was never in my demographic, bracket age mm. bracket wise, mm. right? I, and I could prove it. Like, wh what? Like, who would y'all? What box would y'all put me in as far as other MCs? Like, 
in that era. Fab, Jewel. I would just uh, say Fab. That's the only name I thought just now. I put him right next to each other. Fab. I always Jesus. thought the difference, though, between. But that's what I'm saying. So everybody you name is older than me. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Uh, you you understand? So, so and, and the reason why I'm saying that is because, like, you know, it's a big difference from a, 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 a freshman in high school and a senior. Mm-hmm. It's two different worlds. I'm, I'm entering sure. from one world, and you you walking into a whole nother vulnerability. Like you got to figure out what the fuck is going on after school. Mm. It's a big see, difference. See, we didn't even know though, base. You feel me? We didn't realize. You know what I mean? Like you was the youngest and uh, and whatever. We just looking at it as one. When this is what I knew when y'all was out of here, and it was like once it was that, it was just that. I was in I was downtown and the Chinese ladies by uh, like by Wall Street outside the train had the mixtapes on the blanket and they were yelling like as if they were selling water or something saying that they had 50 cent G unit 50 cent 50 cent that's when I knew it was like oh nah these niggas is a commodity they selling these niggas like this shit is you know what I mean like this this was like a regular product, like you selling shoes or some shit. Like, let's go downtown, buy a bunch of G Unit mixtapes, and put them on a blanket. Facts. So it's Thanks. like, once I knew it was that, it was like, oh, nah, it's over. Like, wasn't 18 years old on Banks so when he popped on the scene, right? 18, right? Yeah, it's Yeah, he's 18 or some mm-hmm. shit. Mm-hmm. But I was never, you know, I wasn't presented as my age, if that makes sense. So it's like, you know, even to this day, like I see like collages, pick collages, it'd be like four boxes and it'd be like, you know, the usual mm-hmm. suspects, you know? And a, and a lot mm-hmm. of people came after like with the mixtape market and the Just the Awards and shit, but I don't feel like, I don't feel like we got pushed out that box. So that's why I could understand what Verd be saying. It, it, it doesn't, <sighs> of course he gonna say it in his, is his manner is you know that's his fucking personality you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm I'm feeling the same fucking way like I was supposed to been get pushed out that box it was supposed to be another banks to push me out the box it was supposed mm-hmm. to be another kiss to push kiss out the box and another fab to push him out the fucking box but the truth it, is it, it, it never happened it never happened well, so like, what, at least what, at what, least what, not what at least not Wayne? from those expectations what about Wayne who Lil Wayne, Wayne. Oh Wayne, oh Wayne, no, we, yeah, Wayne, but Wayne, Wayne was Wayne, 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 and then go DJ, it was like, oh shit, wait, hold up. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, I'm my, go first, DJ. my first my first album I dropped thought it was the squad up tapes, though. My first album and dropped the same day as Wayne. Uh Hunger for More dropped the same day as Carter Carter One. Carter One. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, like them type of rappers, Wayne Banks, them, ain't nobody gonna move them niggas. Ain't nobody gonna really move them. It's like you gotta just come in and be your own version. But it is supposed to be another one with the with the auto tune niggas. It's always another one that come and knock him out the way. Mm. But that, that don't happen with real rappers though. It don't. No, right. it don't happen with real rap. So, real rappers get checked. Does that go back to what we were saying, my nigga? Being you is your superpower, bro. Mm. Can't nobody be you. Hey, I just seen the locks going on a, a fucking thirty years. Word, so that's fire. That's they fire about, to the about to Not perform in Jersey. Not coming to Florida, Jersey. but it's okay. Ninety four. Yeah. I think they said the tickets was like six hundred dollars or some shit. What for real, Jones? That's what Damn. I just said. I don't know if you're capping or not. Yeah. So, so, so if you use your real ability, you can be somebody in the world. You ain't gonna be it being nobody. Else, and 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 the more people we have just trying to emulate, it stops everything. That's why, like, but the real, but it actually make it easier because the real rappers keep getting paid. The real rappers keeps. We don't have no competition because they real rappers. Like MCs, not, man. MCs, man. Yeah, like people that really care about what they what they write down. That's how it, right. how it connects. Do it make sense? With this. He's going somewhere with this. I know. No, <laughs> I ain't, man. I ain't finna throw a shot at that peon. We talking about we got rappers up here, man. We what the fuck we? Ain't, nah. You we think you? Hey, Verb. Hmm? You think uh, a lot of that shit changed to shift it? Cause like battle rappers aren't 
always MCs anymore. Like some of these niggas just battle rap. Like they don't. They give me an example. Song. G- give give some examples. Um, shit. If I want to go Swamp. far back, Swamp. uh Heartless. Swamp. I don't, I don't know. I don't heard Swamp rap on songs. But no, like I'm just, Swamp though. Let's use Swamp. I said that. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't shit, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Look, no, but like uh, it's like some some of the elements as far as just like being MCs ain't the same as a nigga that just want to be a battle rapper. It's just like it's just not the same. Them niggas can't like you. You'll find it oftentimes like just flow, cadence, wordplay, uh, rhyme patterns, and different shit be void from their style because they not MCs. They just battle. It's the same thing like. When you get a punchline rapper, when all he do is punch, you know what I'm saying. But then you got got motherfuckers that use Banks as an example, a nigga that could go crazy with the metaphors, but still weave in and out of rhyme pockets and mm-hmm. and, and and different shit like that. Like, cause that shit matter. But then you got the one nigga that's just set up punch, set up punch, set up punch. No life stories, no nothing or whatever. Right. So but I you think know what, you know that's what real? separate the rappers from the MCs and shit. Right. It was ill, right? Like I remember at one point I had this conversation with Hollow. Like with certain niggas back in the day, first of all, if you was an MC, if you was from Jersey, Philly, New York, anywhere even close to around here, maybe even other places, battling was just a part of what being a rapper meant. You had to have a battle. When it was another guy and another guy, they would make you battle. Record execs would do that. Yo, y'all go at each other. Let's see who the like that was just the way. To showcase your skills back then, you know what I'm saying? But now, once niggas came up with this whole genre as a thing, once people saw niggas actually get on, actually get popping off being a battle rapper, you had people that now just wanted to be battle rappers. They're not right. even thinking about, you know, doing a tour and having an album and shows and all that. they thinking about, I'm going to get booked on Summer Madness or no, yeah. or whatever. And that's what their goal is. So they're not even studying all that other shit. They're not even listening to or, or trying to develop their whole MC-ness as a whole. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're not thinking of themselves in that light. Do you think that's bad? Do you think that you lack somewhat as an MC if you don't do music? I don't think so. I if do you don't MC. study the arts of this shit, yes, you are. You will how fail. Could, how could you be one of the best at you your craft if you arts. don't even study? Well, studying is one thing, but Agreed, actually bro. doing music is a whole other thing. You know what I no, mean? You, it's, it's still you got to be able to do everything. You got to be able to understand. Hey, this is what the, the elements of hip hop is. MCing though, that's one element of it. you. Got to be able to do that. Got to navigate that shit. Yeah, I, we got to be able to close our eyes and hear you. Yeah. We got to be able to be, like when you go into that shit. I should be able to close my eyes and see what you're saying. Like imagine if you go to the Roots picnic and they say we got a verb in the building. And they're like, hey, come to the stage. And you come to the stage and they throw a beat on and say, get crazy. And you sit there looking stupid, talking about, nah, I can't rap on a beat. Shit, you got your motherfucking mind. Turn that bitch on and let it go, motherfucker. This battle, y'all, my bad. Like, what? They're going to say, nah, you're a joke. That's not what that is. Facts. Yeah, you you, got to know where you at. (laughs) You know know what's crazy? That's that's the biggest oxymoron I ever heard because I see like, Mind you, I don't even be the one saying it, you know, Twitter go and people just start talking, but what the fuck did niggas think I wrote to? You said what? Like when you what? was writing your raps. Nothing. Yeah, like, what Nothing. the fuck? Niggas, it wasn't even no fucking, I Nothing. didn't have no instrumentals, nigga. I no used music. to write raps to windshield wipers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Like, nigga, you That's ain't even had no, right no beats. This shit, That's what like, I'm saying. Like, my, the, You the had to is, just write. You had to write. Right, so what the fuck makes the nigga think I couldn't rap a cappella? This shit don't make no fucking sense. I, that's how I developed my flow was acapella, nigga. Right. Niggas ain't have beats at first. And when I did rap over a beat, I used to have to cut on the radio and rap over Over the they rap. Over, over they over rap. Yes. Over they whole... We will freestyle over a whole song while they rapping <laughs> in the background. <laughs> that, <laughs> hey, that's, but that's, but that's, that's why we be locked in, though. That's you probably know? why we be locked in. Yo, brother, right. did y'all have J-Arms and all that shit out there? 
Jay Owens, what is that? What would that be called in St. Louis? Remember the nigga? It was a nigga that started making instrumental. He was putting all the instrumental. 30, 30, 40, and 30. 30, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, yeah, at the flea markets. Yep, we sure That's did. Right. Uh, and then when them beat tapes start coming out, you was buying them from niggas. Like, soon Hell as the yeah. instrumental was motivational. You'll be in the car riding and rapping. Like, ooh, I can't wait to say this later. I used yeah. to buy a motherfucking single just so I could have the instrumental on that bitch. I already Man, got on. the album, nigga. Come on. And, and and now these little dork nerd rappers, uh-huh. they can just type it in and here it comes. But just, but just when we talk about that, right? Imagine the passion that you have as a young nigga that's like you so excited about rap you buying a, a, a fucking single just so you could be able to rap over something mm. versus a nigga that's just like all right yeah well shit if i get booked i'm gonna get you know you ain't even you don't you don't love rapping for real Mm-mm. like how you gonna beat the guy that loves this shit you never will not the ones that got skill no yeah. you know it don't matter how good of a, a battle rap you is. If we come from the arts, it's gonna be tough. You ain't put play. as many reps up, bro. Yeah, it's gonna be tough. You, you know what I? Th- you up. know what I think changed along the way too. Like when I was watching that television and shit, and I would see Big or Rock Kim or whoever, I, you know, Nas, whoever it was. I never felt oh. like I never felt like I could do what they do. Like when I was, you know, being introduced to them. I was inspired. I was like, damn, what the fuck is this? But I never felt like, you know, it's a certain type of respect. Like, on yeah. sensei yeah. shit. Like, it's oh, that shit ain't level. around here. Yeah, it's yeah. a certain level of fear. Like, I know if I punch this nigga, it's not going to hurt the way his punch is going to hurt me. Right? Mm-hmm. And then what happens is, later down the line, I feel like a lot of the younger generation, they see shit and they don't look at it with that respect, they look at it like if he could do what I could do. Yeah, that's the era we in, Banks. Yeah. Right? Is, if he is, could do what I could do, we come is that from a the gift same and place. A cur- is that a gift and a curse, though? For who? Definitely a curse. Um, I, I would say for both ends, because I'm sure, like, a lot of the veteran guys or the guys that have been here for 20-plus years is like, damn, these niggas ain't got no respect. But on the flip side, it's also like, man, they they confident. Like, is that it, is, it can't just be negative, right? You can have respect and be confident. Right. So I'm saying to what he said, though, like when they look at a guy instead of. No, 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 no. I think I think you misunderstand what I'm saying. I'm saying it's I'm saying they're confident based off of based off of the, the, the product that's being presented to them. They're not saying it like I didn't. I said I could do it because Nas did it because we both from <laughs> you feel me? We from right. similar backgrounds. I'm saying they're looking at that shit talent wise and saying if he could do it, I could do it because he's oh, not doing gotcha, much. Gotcha. Yo, yo, Banks, right? Around that same time where y'all start, you know what I mean, taking over and all that, that was when I really started like battling for real, right? Like 2002, 2001, all that, right? right? I remember somebody said this specific thing to me. This started to be a thing that niggas would say. When the internet and all this shit came out, you run down because we used to run down on niggas with the CDs in the book bag. If it's twenty niggas on this block, that's where we going. We going over here. Yo, what's up, niggas? Rap. We got bars. Niggas would say shit like this. Nah, yo, my man rap. We would be like, what? So, so what that means? So tell them to come back. Like they would use that as an excuse to really say, like, well, nah, we can't support your shit because I got my own shit. Once niggas started thinking like that. That shit really, that to me is what planted the seed that really fucked up where we at now. Once niggas said, well, I got a camera, I got an internet connection, I can do it too. Yeah. It'll never be the same. Yo, three, you still there? I'm at Cuzzo. What, up? what What was the first beat that you could remember hearing? Not just hearing, but the first beat that made you say, what the fuck was that? One DMC suck MCs. Okay. Mine, mine was two. It was uh, J. Ru the damager come clean. Mm. 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 Right. Three more, three more. From here. So imagine hearing that shit getting off the dollar van on the Coliseum. Word. Word. What the fuck is those sounds? Right? Word. It was that and fucking uh, unbelievable. Biggie. Mm. Okay. Now, if you sit and, and think about <laughs> the unique sounds in each of those beats, it was like, I used to bug my homie every fucking day because he had the, he had the, uh, 
the single, you know, back then, A-Side, mm, B-Side, A-S- B-Side right, right. from Hot Wax on mm. the Avenue and shit. And, you know, I'm so green to this shit, I don't even know where to get this shit from. And I used to bug him every day, yo, I need that fucking tape. I need that tape. So what I'm saying is, we so far along from that time, you don't even hear music outside no more. Thanks. I remember when fucking Life After Death came out, my son, God bless the dead, he was we had he still had the boom box and he's walk around playing ten crack commandments a hundred fucking times straight. Word. You'll never see that again. That was the box era, nigga. We had the Panasonic box, nigga, with the tape player. And you walked around Maxwell tapes. Maxwell now. tapes Jones and TD, TDK J- yeah. and and Maxwell tapes. Tapes. You had to, you had, TDK you had to right put right the right. little you had to put the little <laughs> tissue, tissue, on that tissue shit. Nigga, that yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I love our arrow, my niggas. I love our arrow, man. <laughs> yo, <laughs> yo, three, this shit be written, man. You, right. you know, you know what came out the year I was born? Oh, what year you was born? Tell me the I'll tell you what came out. Oh, yeah, you can't what year you born. 1980, 1982. So we're talking fat boys, we're talking Odini. Are we talking UTFO? Are we talking? What was the biggest album in 1982? Oh, it gotta be um Grand Master Flash, I would think, right? Not my book. Thriller. <laughs> thriller, Thriller, okay. thriller, okay. Michael Jackson, all right. You know what else came out in 1982? Mm. The CD. The CD was created. The in CD was released in 1982. Oh, wow. wow. You know what else came out in 1982? Mm. Right. The, the Air Force One. Mm. Wow. See how I come around, though? <laughs> wow. Hey, you, had rap- hey, 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 you had the rapper year. starter kit. You had the rapper starter kit. Year. That's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> Air Force One, a CD, a tape. That's right. Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. Rapper kit. Yo, my, fir- my first performance, the first thing I seen perform was two pops. Wow. What was that like? What was that like? The first person you seen was pops, you said? It was pops. Mm. What, what, was it, pop? what was it like? What was it like? He, he showed up late. And he stayed late. Like he said that. He was like, I know I, show, I showed up late, so I'm going to stay late. And that was just like the, the illest shit to me. Like, I also seen Fat Joe, too. Facts. Mm. So he was like, flow, Joe. yeah, yeah. I seen, big, I seen Big E, Kara Swan. I seen Rock Kim. I done seen Way him. back. And then yeah, the first. Joe was scary back then, bro. You know, you, know what, you know what's crazy, though? The full circle moment, right? Because that was my first time seeing, you know, somebody perform and then. Our first concert, no, my first big concert was the uh, Nashville Coliseum, mm. right? Long, long Island. Y'all, y'all opened yeah. up mm. that night. That's say. the night. No, no, no. Before that, I'm saying the first as me, just as a kid. Oh, I, I, I was Long Island. Like, okay. Yeah. So long this Island, is, was, this what? is 1996, Nashville Coliseum. It's the night Tupac died. That's that's the first mm. big concert I was at. Wait, that, that's what Nas, Nas on stage said that Pac died that night, right? Yes, yeah, I was, yeah. I, was, I was in the building. Oh, he's in the building for that? Oh, shit, shit my nigga, wow. But, but but prior to that, you got our mom, think about the year. It wasn't no phones and shit like that. So we we coming to the venue, you know what I'm saying? We on the expressway or whatever, and, and all the cars and shit, people pulling over. It wasn't no more driving. Motherfuckers was stopped in the middle of the highway. Wow, the radio was on, right. everybody crying and shit. You. So by the time we flooded into the uh, into the stadium, we was kind of like putting people on and shit. And then Ed Lover came out and they said that shit, man. I swear to God, you felt the stadium. It felt like everybody sat down at the same time. Like it was it was that crazy. And then full circle again. The first the first big show we did in New York was in Nassau Coliseum, and my mother brought me to that one where Pac died that night. So wow. I Yo. ended up doing that concert. Yeah, and Batman Scoop was the host that night, right, Banks? Batman mm-hmm. Scoop. Mm-hmm. He brought me yeah. out. That was the first show that I ever performed at, like, opened up. And I opened up for y'all. And Fat Man Scoop, like, did the whole announcement. He made me sound so crazy. I was scared to walk out. He was like, Santa, serious, Joe. And I'm just sitting there looking nervous as hell by the side of the stage. Yo, that three. Yo. Yo. My, my, my first performance... Mm-hmm. I'm like 14, 15, maybe, mm-hmm. at my junior high school, right? Talent show. Right. I'm real. I don't know how to do crowd control, nothing. So we do our shit. I'm standing stiff in the middle of the stage with the mic, the stand mic, like the Temptations. Mm-hmm. 
You you know who you know who you know who closed that show? Who that? Fifty Cent. Wow. Yo, let me say mm. yo, yo, let me say something right quick. In two thousand two, y'all niggas was the first niggas I've ever seen perform live and do mixtape joints. And niggas knew them shits verbatim. I ain't never seen no shit niggas like that. The whole in my, thing, yeah, my Jones. I, 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 I ain't never one. seen no shit like that. Niggas made never. mixtapes. Niggas made mixtapes become albums. Fam, I ain't never seen no shit like that, Jones. You gotta remember, I'm, I'm from the to this day. To this day, if you put out a tape or album, what's the right? Thing? I'm saying, oh two, that was not known. That shit like that wasn't happening in that time. No, that, that wasn't. That wasn't you know what I mean, it wasn't the norm. That wasn't shit. even a thing. That wasn't the thing. Then, was then everybody started doing back then. Then everybody started doing that shit. Facts, Quest, exactly. Including me, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> like, you Talk your Quest, <laughs> nigga. Yo. Hell yeah. Hey, hey, I got a, I got a question, man. What, what? I always think about when I found rap, like when I found out, cause like we the same age and shit. So like I was into like Michael Jackson and shit like that, and then I found rap. Like what song artist or what happened? Like when you found rap? Who's that question for? You or whoever? Oh, uh, well, for me, it was two, two different things. Well, three really. Well, Kane was my my pop's favorite rapper, so I was exposed to Kane like early on and shit. And he was always saying like this, Big Daddy Kane. Oh, Kane, facts. Right. So it was it was Kane, and then it was Rakim. Like I just first of all, my TV was like the size of like a fucking floor towel. Word. So I'm stuck in front of that shit, and I just remember him, you know, just kicking the speaker and all that shit. That shit was just played in my mind. And then the third biggest influence would be Slick Rick. Mm. Storytelling, kind of storytelling. So, right. So yeah. when he was saying, you know, don't be a dumb dummy and disrespect your mommy. Your mommy. Like, <laughs> he yeah. was he was opening up. He was to me, he's the Willy Wonka of this shit. Word. He was so really he, talking to the kids and still on some fly player shit though. Like you, you see what I'm saying? But but not even just that. He he had the art of storytelling and his imagination. He made he made me open my mind to shit. So if you would ask me, like I, I feel like I'm like a mixture of those people. Mm. And then and then if you look further on, I feel like you know Rick kind of like evolved into Snoop. Yeah. You know, Rakim yeah. kind of evolved into Nas. Definitely. Ng rap. Ng rap. And Kane kind of evolved into Jay. And you know, know what I mean? So yeah, like, fair like, all of the niggas that you just named, they was fucking with each other, Pauls, and soaking game from each other. Like, like Jay was on tour with this nigga Kane in Europe and all that. I didn't yeah. know that shit back then. Jazz on them niggas. You know what I mean? Same thing with Rakim. Like, now to tell you, Rakim was my, you know what I mean? Like, and once you put it side by side, it's on some Joe and Kobe type shit. You know what I mean? Rakim changed the game, my nigga. He literally changed the game on niggas rapped. Like in 86. The nigga literally changed yeah. on niggas. Rakim is on my second album, 06. Mm. You know what I mean? Yes. So it just it just goes to show you like it was certain things that I, and I'm glad you brought that up though. The communication, right? Because I think that's what's lacking. You know, and and like that was my the question I had for y'all. Like, what do y'all think should be done? And I and I sit and I remember like the interviews that I enjoyed the most were like when it'd be like ten of y'all niggas outside a venue or something, just you know talking shit. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like that that camaraderie, like, like a movie, yeah, kind of like a yeah, locker room. Like, yeah, I, I enjoy those way more. You know, no disrespect to what everybody else got going on. I'm just saying at those times it just felt so organic, and I feel like. Personally, I feel like right now that's needed. I feel like battle rap needs a fucking round table. Leadership, man. Yeah, they just need a round table. I, I think we need the Avengers. Exactly. You need the conversation yeah, that motherfuckers is happening now. I feel like that should happen uh, uh, visibly. You know what I mean? So yeah, people yeah. could actually see it and, and get the insight and the knowledge and shit and just the opinions from the fucking, you know, the, old, the elder statesman. Or 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 we just separate. What I used to say was just separate the room. <laughs> Keep them niggas over there that don't want to do that. Keep the good ones over here. Damn, what the fuck. Let's make it easy. Cause, cause, because look, we can't stop them stupid niggas from writing that shit. They gonna keep doing it. Okay, you know so let's move them across the street. 
I know this your your shit verb and you like being the villain and all that, but the thing is this, right? When you when you come at it like that, pause, it makes motherfuckers it fuels that whole thing that we was talking about about the young niggas saying fuck these old niggas and hating. So what, these... Jones? They not like us. <laughs> I know, I, but nice. I know so it's what? not like gonna affect us getting the money. I'm just saying, at the end of the day, if this is gonna be the NBA, if this is gonna be the whatever, Jordan and them, Jordan gonna fuck you up when you a rookie coming in trying to guard him. But he's not going to sit there in the interview and say, you know, these rookies can't fuck with me, nigga. I'm I mean, I'm, I mean, why, why not? But they look, you got to think about it, man. That if they if they got their own style of doing it and they don't they come into a room and you don't ask nobody. Hey, how do I be successful? That's like a nigga trying to sell some dope for the first time, being stubborn. Like, I'm going to do it like that. Let him go across the street and lose his money. Fuck, we need to try to lead him for. He's stupid. I, you walk in a room and say, hey. Yeah. Jones, what do you think I should do to become so I can last this long? They don't ask them questions. They don't want those questions. Go some, across the some street. Some people do. Some people do, but the most don't. You're right. Yeah, but that's, but that's because one. That's because one. This go down. This go back to us being black people, which is one of our main problems. We always have division. We always got the old versus the young, or the new versus the old, or the girls versus the niggas. Like this is what we do. We we divide our shit. But we don't care about them. They worry about us because they think we're in their way. We don't care about them. We want them to become successful so we can get money off of them. That's not necessarily that's not necessarily true though. I, I don't think the vets are as inviting as they could and or should be for the inviting, guys that's coming up. But what they gotta say to y'all for? How though? I don't understand like, how like, and if you look at it like niggas have whole he laughing. That's that's not ridiculous at all. I'm not saying like, it got to be no kumbaya shit, but niggas be wanting niggas to kiss their ass, and it's like I don't. Feel that's like that that's shit. pride talking and that's ego, pride, bro. Right. That's not. Don't that's nobody. Not. Don't no man niggas want his ass pride. kissed. Dog. Don't no Quit. real man want his ass kissed. Quest. That's Quest. Say it again. Quest. Say it again. Quest. Hey, Quest. Quest, but that's you talking. You, you, you. nah, that, but but I'm the difference is like the you one thing niggas is talking about though. When we got this motherfucker, it was dusty and it was 10 motherfuckers in a room on the street corner and this shit on the big ass stage. We want y'all to do great, nigga, because y'all are supposed to be putting this shit in stadiums. Hey, Quest, yeah. hey, Quest, what's up? What's up? For shout first, what's up, Lloyd? I never, uh, been on space with you or rap with you. That's Big young, fan. that's young ill right fan, there. Bro. What's, uh, what's up, but, uh, what's up, what's up, bro? What's up with you? Hey, Capo, it's ill though. Like, well, we just, what's that, man? I just uh sent you in Cali. I sent you before in Atlanta. This was my first time seeing you in right. Cali. I straight pulled up on you after my battle. I came right over to you, let you know, like, I know you because I that's my first time meeting you. You feel me? So I don't know what you ever had thought about, me, but that was my first time just letting you know if you got anything. Maybe have a preconceived, you know, idea of me. Man, I ain't got nothing here. Come on, I, I already sent you. And that's, I think that's independent for some people. Other people don't have that same approach. But as you get as you get up on yeah, people, you'll know who's who. You'll know who kind of in, inviting, who kind of. But we, right. I don't know you. I don't know who you are. You came straight to me. Yeah. Yeah, you once you meet each other. They gave me some flowers, bro, some game, like. And that's how all the vets been on me, even Verb. As soon as Verb got all his face off with AWOL, he's like, that's how you do that. Yeah. You know, just know you're a villain in this shit. That's how you got to do it. <laughs> and like, and I've been going through that since I've been here. So I don't really got nothing bad to say about no vet because all of them been welcome. And well, I'm, but I'm in a blessed situation. I know yeah, that. Yeah, because mo if you come into a nigga's house, like, like, like Banks, let's think about it. If it's a new nigga on the unit at that time. And he coming in the building, and he ain't saying nothing to you. He walking to the other studio to record. He you ain't get saying very, nothing first to of all, you. You get very few words. Come, come on, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just being honest. You gonna get very few words. You gotta prove yourself, man. Yeah, but 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 look. Let's say if he just purposely walk, like you, you you know you walk in the house and you say, "Hey, what up?" I'm I'm you know just introduce myself. What if he just don't? You already pick up on that. All right, well go fail then, dummy. Because I'm I'm over here doing this. Go go die in that room then. Cause yeah, you have to. I be lightweight. <laughs> I be lightweight playing devil's advocate with you, bro. But you know, how, you know how I feel. Yeah, like come on, bro. You gotta show re respect is the first key. And then if you learn, then you can you can stay around long instead of I'm I ain't like them. You need to be like them because they steady been here, man. And everything what? ain't disrespect. I, that, no, I think ain't. that's what niggas gotta realize. Like when you when you do this shit, you become public property, man. Like 
motherfucker going to critique. They going to tell you what they like, what they don't like. Everything ain't disrespect, man. You got to take that shit. You got to use it as fuel. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I remember when the fucking, when the blog and shit and, and all that first started. That's the first time a nigga could tell you whether they was trolling. Terminology didn't even exist back then. But, you know, you yeah. like, damn, nigga said my shit. What? Like, a nigga not saying that shit to you on the street. That shit felt weird, right, Paul? Yeah, like, so you, damn, I can't the nigga really typing some shit talking about you fell off or you ain't got it like that. You like, what? So I'm, I'm, I'm using a nigga I never fucking met before, and I'm taking that. He could be in fucking Alabama somewhere, and he don't doesn't even know he, he fucking fueled my fire all the way Boy. in Queens. And, and you can't change everybody's opinion. But I feel like I'm going to change a lot. You know what I'm saying? And, and mm-hmm. that, like I said, when you don't feel the need to do that no more, then you you need to go, you know, do something else. Nah, for real. And I thought I thought about something when you said that earlier, right? Like, rest in peace, my nigga Big Dog. He said some shit to me because I was like, I, I felt a way whenever police get behind me. I'm like, yo, even though I'm doing shit legit, I still can't get rid of that pause that feeling like it's still and i was mad at myself because i'm like why am i still scared like i can't stop being scared when police get behind me and he's like bro why do you want to take away what makes you you he's like why don't you he's like when you lose that feeling that's when you're not even you no more that's your instincts telling you what you're supposed to know you know what i'm saying so it's that same thing when we get on stage i get nervous every time yeah, I gotta, you know what I mean? I gotta sit back in the cut by myself for a fucking half an hour, hour before the battle. It don't matter the nigga been doing this 20 years. This is something that it's that type of passion. So it's like you care about how you do. You care about your life. You care about when you care about it, it's gonna be different. Mm. If you don't never get nervous, if you ain't never worried, if you ain't thinking about it, because a lot of niggas I see doing this shit nowadays. Oh, well, I ain't even take that shit serious. Like, that's a real thing that niggas just say nowadays. And that's mm-hmm. a separate yeah. excuse by the culture. Mm-hmm. It's oh, like, oh, what? It's it's error, yeah. That defense mechanism. That's a defense mechanism. That should be eating them up with anybody. So. Yeah. Yeah. That shit corny that niggas is even going to jack that. Like, yeah, that shit culture, definitely, we it should definitely say, meant nah, something because when niggas was betting money on your ass, it would have meant something. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, that's up right. That money, niggas. Fuck you mean you ain't taking serious? Niggas yeah, will run yeah. down on you back in the day for that. I ain't gonna say no names, but nigga. I saved a, a nigga life got saved from doing that. Nigga had a battle in Cali. He got paid by some niggas that is not the type of niggas that you want to just take their money and not give a fuck and did that. Didn't give a fuck. Choked right away. Went right on you on, on Twitter and said some slick shit like, well, I, I don't really care about URL or some shit. Them niggas is going to kill that nigga. Mm. Niggas have to have a whole powwow like, bro, nah, look, it's battle rap. It's not like that. Niggas is like, man, that nigga got to get that money back, nigga. Niggas know where his room is at. We're going over there. And that's where like, sudden deaths came in, too. Like, when money was on the line, that's where sudden deaths came in because we would either break even or yep. we going to sudden death because you can't call it like that. We nobody letting up off their money. No, no, nah, nah, you got to win. You, you got to win, man. You got to win. Sudden death. You could kill a nigga and still have sudden death. Yo, I got to. I got to want to give you this money, dog. To stop rapping here, Straight man. Up. Let me ask you a question before I go. Right. Mm-hmm. If if you could, first of all, how many how many battles you think would be the the best number for a solid card? Like how many how, how many four, solid five, battles I make four, 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 five, 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 five. five. Yeah, let's let's yeah. go let's let's go four, right? It, if you could pick your four matchups right now, right? In, in in the state of the culture, what would be the four right now that you want to see? How much time they got? Three minutes, three rounds? No, no, no. How much time they got to prepare? No, no, no. He's just saying. Weeks. He's saying, what's the matches right now? That the in general, in general, in general. Okay, got you. Mm, I would say uh, Ice Pack Easy. I would say Hitman Gucci. Mm. Hey, bro, serious, Joe. That can work too, right now. <laughs> um. Hmm. Who else got a bomb like that under there? It's getting kind All right, of I got y'all. I got y'all, man. Easy versus Tay Rock, Jazz and Hustle. Good. All right, Jazz nigga, give us the rest of them. 
I'm just throwing out something about them. My bad. Rock Easy, Jazz Hustle. My bad. You the Easy Hustle. Hit Hit Man, Hit Man, and Geechee. Hit Man and Geechee. Put it out there. Hit Man and Geechee. Hit Man and Geechee. I mean, it's 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 like a, but the thing is, a fight can get made any day. Like tomorrow, it could be a extreme explosion, and that's a whole other fight. Yeah, because you know, right now they want to see me in stupid ass swamp. If you could, if you could see one rematch, what would it be? Oh, thanks. Come on, rematch. Jazz and hustle. Yeah, yeah, jazz and hustle. Yeah, yeah, jazz and hustle. Yeah, that's for sure. When you said that, I'm like, they ain't battled yet. Yeah, one more. That that first one was kind of shady, those dudes. It was. Yes, a little little shenanigans. And, And for the and for the fellas who. Banks, Banks over there writing What's that shit up? down. <laughs> I, for, the, for the for hey for the fellas, oh. is is definitely twerking Gotti for sure. Okay, definitely. I ain't mad. I want to uh, see. Gotti? I want to see. Oh. I want to see Cal and Lux again. Yeah, I would like that. Oh, interesting. Like that. Quest, I, I ain't mad at that. Quest. I don't I think I, I like agree that. with that. Hey, Quest, I ain't mad at you, brother. I would like yeah. that a lot. I like yeah. that. A lot. I love to see. Why that you want to get that Midwest get back? No, I, 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 I think he won the first one. Yeah, I thought Kyle You think won. he won the first Come on, yeah, Quest. Come on, Quest. Come on, Quest. We can talk about it. We can talk about it. Come on, Quest. What are we doing, Q? You, uh, he, doing? He, he, we can talk he about did, it. He did win the first one, man. He, uh, he won the first Ooh. round. He won the first round. He won the first round. The second round, he did good. That's impossible, Quest. He did good. And he, he, he defined what a proctor right, was. Once right, I yeah. defined what a proctor was, it was Let's like, go back and listen. Go go back and listen. Yo, Ver. The proctor thing was kind of, you know. Yo, Ver. Yo. Who's the biggest what if in battle rap? Oh boy. What if if like if they was what if twerk me? Twerk. <laughs> well, twerk can I say one real quick? Twerk. twerk and easy right quick. Somebody texted me twerk and easy. I forgot about that one. Yes. You, you, twerk you, you easy said, match. Wait a minute, hold on, hold on. Three he asked me another a different question. You saying who's the biggest what if like if everything was together, right? Right. It'd be New Jersey Twerk. It's chess. No, the fuck is not, man. Hey, man, what nah, the twerk, fuck is y'all? Twerk, twerk already been. Stepping. Twerk he is a legacy just, solidified. He like, a, I, listen, man. Fuck up, but he been on, he been on one though. Listen, listen, man. If Twerk had the lockdown of a nigga that locked down, he is probably be the best nigga on the floor. Yeah. To me, Twerk is easily the most talented nigga in battle rap. Besides, of course, you know you are gonna feel that way about yourself. I, yeah, I, I, y'all, I, y'all, yeah, y'all, y'all gonna think I'm being. Uh, Mr. Twerk is probably the most talented to me. Clean. Clean what? Clean. clean. Yo, clean was clean that nigga though, bro. What if? Yeah, clean, clean is a what if nigga. Yeah, That's clean. a fact though. Clean is a what if nigga. That's clean. a fact. And clean, clean is phenomenal is nigga, now. Right? Clean is definitely a what if nigga, bro. What? Yeah. Bro, yeah, you gotta remember now. What Smack did his uh, videos early. They took his fucking battle for magic. Clocks him magic. Bitch, I watch your Smack. I was on clean paper in the beginning of that shit, nigga. I was clean. clean. Clean was on pace to be... The number one nigga in battle rap. Though. I ain't mad at that question. If he wasn't a bozo, he, he might be. Bro. That nigga was supposed to be that nigga. Like, oh. I disrespect him, man. He go out his way to do it all the time to me. But I know. Bill, but I'm, I'm Bill had a classic. And I don't even you know, know what I'm saying. saying respect me with no it, though. You know that's somebody man. from where I'm from. Let's be. I, I wouldn't do that no about a jersey that, man. Him and Froze. Niggas be clout chasing that bad. They just make up some smoke. Yeah, Bill is nice, too. Hey, 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 Banks, when you get ready to do that call, we'll, 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 we'll get on it, man. I see nigga Banks over there like, nah, yeah. Girl, you, you must have talked to somebody. Yeah, uh, you know, I get around. Yo, that's crazy. <laughs> I get around, sir. Nah, we're we going to get to it. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. I sent you something in the DM, too. For sure. For sure. All right, right on, bro. Back. I ain't gonna have you all that. Appreciate you coming through, man. Yeah, y'all be good, man. Salute to y'all, man. Back to the commentator. Right. I love you, man. Salute, right. y'all. Love. Three, you ain't getting no commentator job. If I got something, I got <laughs> God, I hate on you so fast with Banks. No, not three. Uh-uh, no, not three. We ain't getting no motherfucking three letterman up there. Hey, hey, your verb. Speaking of rapping, that, that bars on NL5 drop tomorrow, man. Let me know what you think about that. Oh, okay, bet. For sure, Jones got... Okay, so I'm you know pretty sure that's going to be exciting. I'm, I I know what that is. You know what I'm saying? Quick eight minutes of pain. You know what I mean? Ain't about nothing. Okay. Talk your shit. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah, man. So Jones drops tomorrow. We just had Banks in the building. Ice back in the building. Quest, Sirius, Doc. 
Bill Capo with three. I had a classic, had a classic interview with Young Yo today. Y'all go check that out, please. Classic interview with Young Yo. God, you, I did. I had a classic. I went out interview with Ice Pack. I did. My nigga had a classic. I went interview with Ice Pack. I did. We spoke about everything. I just shouted out everybody here, and then you said, yeah, me. Talk about me and Ice Pack. Yeah, we had a classic interview today. Hour, 16 minutes. Talk about everything. Listen, you know three is good. I tweeted three. I love you, my nigga. You know that? Can't stand that nigga, man. He's going to plug his shit. He always trying to, it's like, damn, he love himself. Like you, what else you need, nigga? God <laughs> damn. Like, said, by the way, guys, check out my brand new interview that's available now. I'm, I'm just saying, saying John. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> creep ass, ass nigga. <laughs> the fuck is you? That nigga over there, nigga. I'm mad at you three doing your job. We do. That's why I always do interviews still, I man. I fuck with you, John. You know that. You know, you know. No, you don't, man. You know the fuck you don't fuck <laughs> with nobody, man. You <laughs> fuck with whoever <laughs> interviewing you, man. I got love everybody, my nigga. I fuck with everybody. Doing interview, bro. Uh, that's not true. I don't. I don't fuck everybody. Do interview with. Let me make sure. Yes, you do, that. nigga. No, that's not true. That is not true. You said All I right, lost right. That is not true. Well, I did say it to one. That's but Joe, I, I thought I gave you more bills than anybody else, though. No, nah, it's cap. Because all the bloggers be hating on me. That's just what they do. That's how they get content clicks. All the dumb shit. Like, we was. I probably respect you, John. Don't do that. It's okay. Three, you don't respect that. anybody, bro. Come on, okay. man. Who do you respect, nigga? They talking about respect. You shit on... My nigga, you shit on Shayna, A. Ward, and Swamp in like a, a, a 10 minute span. It's like you just... Whoever you get on your nerves, you just go at them. It's like, come on, bro. But did they say something to me that I don't like? Bro, you shit on Shayna badly, bro. That was, that was the nasty did she, did, did she say something to me I don't like? Talk about she was a nigga, my nigga. Like, come on, bro. That was okay, like, but did she, did she say something <laughs> that I did not like? Bro, bro be on some bullshit. He do be on some bro. bullshit, though. He don't stop, bro. It's like he's going through shit. Talk to bro. He bro, like it. Have a talk Y'all Jones, man. Jones, he likes people fucking with him. He likes that hey, shit. Hey, hey, three. My bro, own bro, mama can't. My mama can't. Can. She can't talk to me crazy, mind. bro. She can't talk to me crazy, bro. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Battle rap villain in his mind. He been like that for fourteen years, bro. He's always been like years. that. The nigga has not changed the fuck. Yeah, but man. yeah, but I'm. But the thing is, I don't turn this shit off. That's why I don't change. This is exactly who the fuck he is in the real world. <laughs> hey, bro. I'm on. Yeah, I'm on. When um, <laughs> Sway was on the battle verb and shit. And verb calling him battle rap arena days, man. I'm lying, just be fucking busy. This nigga would be on that motherfucker. Damn man. right he was. And, swamp, and, and, and stupid ass swamp gonna tell you what? What he say on that show? He said, "Swamp, I love you, my nigga." He, 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 he said, "He said, verb ain't no draw. It's the person he nah, got." Er, everybody swamp. start. Everybody start stepping on him, saying, "Man, what the fuck is you talking about, man?" Swamp, I'm I love you, my nigga. But you wild. Swamp is not really wild. a good talker. Like he's not good at the talk. He don't talk. speak well. He don't yeah, speak he, well. He's not good with that. It's like he'll start going with you like that and just say something that's like what? Like it don't you know, even make it, any sense. But he will eat a raccoon. He told that's me. The, he told me to pull out some money, and it was like, pull out what you got in your pocket, Jones. What you got in your pocket? I pulled out eighty five hundred dollars. Guess how much he pulled out? <laughs> I'm gonna guess. <laughs> like like five hundred twenty dollars. Like yo, bro. I do my son swap like that, man. What are you doing? Man. Like, what, like, why would you even do that to yourself? Type shit. Like, I don't understand that guy. Like, I don't know why he like he, the thoughts pattern that he have is some shit that we never seen before. You know like, what? I, you know what? Let's go back to what we was talking about earlier, bro. And I, I mean, I'm gonna go this far to say this, bro. Certain niggas, bro, from especially from our era, when you outside for real, and I, when I say about outside, I don't mean doing criminal activity. I don't mean being a gangster. I just mean you've been around. You've been around people, things. You've seen a bunch of shit. You've had all type of conversations. You've been in different walks of life. It develops your communication skills. It develops your ability to talk this shit, nigga. A lot of these niggas, they really haven't been through shit for real. They haven't gotten to the level to where they even really uh, a fucking a seasoned man, respectfully. Yeah, it's, like, it's, it's... Some things don't even like. Why would you say that's not accurate to tell yourself that you will lie to yourself and say that? And then it's like when you lie to yourself, that's some sick shit. It's like you you won't ever be ready if you lie to yourself. And then you trying to sell the lie to the rest of the world, like like other people just going jack. Like no, bro. Man. And they saying, like, "Are you crazy? What the fuck are you talking about?" <laughs> it's like it's like when you see a person do something like that, their mind ain't well, man. And I wouldn't even say nothing bad about him if it wasn't for the fact that, like, he really goes out of his way to still try and have something whack to say about me. It's like, bro, what's wrong with you? <laughs> like, let it go. Like, I tell you, that motherfucker that's not going to make you look hot. 
Mm-hmm. By trying to clown other niggas that's clearly doing their thing. Like, you look stupid. Doing more than you, sir. Way more than you. Way like, more than way you. Way longer than yeah. you. Yeah, like, like, that's sick for real. Like, that, when you and, heard and that you shit, really you really still trying to create a narrative of, like, oh, Jones. Like, <laughs> like, bro, Jones watched you, and he's a main event, and you're nobody in their own culture. Like, still. Like, stop. And it ain't like, and, 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 and ain't been a, a, a pack event in your city yet, man. What the fuck is you talking about, man? You ain't no packer. And respectfully, you know, we keeping it positive because Ramadan or whatever. But I've seen all that other shit. I've seen all that other stuff. Niggas from your hometown talking about this and that. Like, we see this stuff, bro. Just because niggas don't care, mm-hmm. niggas think you could like pretend it don't exist just because people oh, don't oh, care. Oh, we about definitely it. see it. We oh, oh, it's a lot of people that stand against that theory. We just don't say nothing. Cause it's like we don't, we don't care. We no one cares, Swizzy. No one cares. You got all kind of shit. Them people standing against you. Your own native. Like we was like we. And you know how loyal the South is, nigga. So if you was really one of them niggas out of South Carolina, them niggas gonna be riding with your ass, nigga. They yeah, be, and, fuck well, that. We riding with Carolina. That's how they would feel if they really looked at you as a representative. You you, you might have one or two niggas that are say it, but the city would have stood with you. Hey, why y'all jumping swamp like that? Ain't nobody no, jumping no, that weird ass nigga. We I just talking about some other shit. Y'all dragging that man on the block. Well, well, we'll get his soft ass off that's, the street then. That's, that's what, that's what girls do. But I'm just chiming in because he be really coming at my throat. Pause uh, three. No diddy. And it be like, uh, yeah, I said pause. No diddy. <laughs> I paused it already, but yeah. I'm not going to drag diddy, even though no diddy is hilarious. I love no diddy, but I don't want to really say it, though. It's like, damn. It's kind of a yeah, classic. You shouldn't be, shouldn't be saying no hip shit then, stupid nigga. Clutch, what's good? Hey, all right, three. All right, all right. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get it right.